the, uh, you know, I, I, would, I, would, I would go into the investment business, uh, and, and I, would, uh, I would look at lots of companies, and I would go and talk to lots of people, and I would try to learn from them what I could about different industries. Um, one thing I did when I was 23, if I got interested in the coal business, I would go out and see the CEOs of eight or 10 coal companies. And the interesting thing was I, I, I never made appointments usually or anything, I just dropped in, but they, they, they fell a fellow from Omaha who looked like me, couldn't be too <laughs> harmful. So they'd, they, they'd always see me. And I would I'd ask them a lot of questions, but one question I'd always ask them, two questions at the end, I would ask them if they had to put all of their money into any coal company except their own and go away for 10 years and couldn't change it, which one would it be and why? And then I would say, after I got an answer to that, I would say, and if as part of that deal, they had to sell short an equivalent amount of money uh, with, in one coal company, which would it be and why? And if I went around and talked to everybody in the coal business about that, I would know more about the coal companies from an economic standpoint than any one of those managers probably would. So I think there's lots of ways to learn about business. You're not gonna learn how to start another Facebook or Google that way, but you can, you can learn a lot about the economic characteristics of companies by reading, personal contact. You do have to have, you have to have a real curiosity about it. I mean, you, I don't think you can do it because your mother's telling you to do it or something of the sort. I think, yeah, you really, it really has to turn you on. And I mean, what could turn you on more around asking questions about coal companies? Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, that maybe be a little odd too, but that's what I would do. And I might in the process of doing that, find some industry that particularly interested me. In my case, the insurance industry did. Uh, and, and you might become very well equipped even perhaps to start your own insurance company, but perhaps to uh, pick the most logical one to go to work for. If you just keep learning things, something will come along that, that you'll find extremely useful uh, to do. I mean, it, 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 but you've got to be open to it. Charlie? Well, you might try a version of the trick that Larry Bird used. When he wanted an agent to negotiate his new contract, he asked every agent why he should be selected. And if he was not going to be selected, whom the agent would recommend. And since everybody recommended the same number two choice, Larry, Larry Bird just hired him and negotiated the best contract in history. Yeah. There's a, well, there are a lot of tricks that people yeah, use. We did the same thing as Solomon, actually. It was a Saturday morning yeah. when I, I called, and you were there, Charlie, weren't you? Yeah, well, sure. sure. Uh, I called in, I don't know whether it was eight or 10, of the manager, I just gotten in there on Friday afternoon, and now it's Saturday morning, and we had to open for business Sunday night in Tokyo, and I had to have somebody to run the place. So I called in eight people, and I said, you know, who besides you would be the ideal person to run this, and why? Uh, one guy told me that there was nobody compared to him. <laughs> he was gone from the firm within a few months, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, it's not a bad system to use. It, um, it, you can you can really learn a lot just by asking. I mean, it's starting to sound a little about like a Yogi Berra <laughs> quote or something. But it is it is literally true that you, if you talk to enough people about something they know something about, and people like to talk, you know, they, and. Uh, uh, you know, here we are talking ourselves. <laughs> the, uh, it, and, and you just have to be open to it. And, and uh, you will find, you will find your spot. Uh, uh, you may not find it the first day or the week or month, but you'll find what fascinates you. I was very lucky because I found what fascinated me when I was seven or eight years of age. But, but uh, uh, you know, some people find chess or music you know, fascinates them when they're four or five. The, if you're lucky, you find it early, and, and sometimes it takes you longer, but you'll find it. If it's a very competitive business, and it plainly requires qualities that you lack, 
it should probably be avoided. I could, when I was at Caltech, I took thermodynamics. And Homer Joe Stewart, who was a genius, taught the course. And it was perfectly apparent to me that no amount of time or effort would turn me into a Homer Joe Stewart. He was utterly, impossibly more talented than I could be. Gave up. I immediately decided I wasn't going to try and be a professor of thermodynamics at Caltech. And, and I've done that with field after field, and pretty soon there was only one or two left. Yeah.